Come closer. Do you know what you have found? I'll tell you my story. This skull was once my mother's. These bones were once my family. The blood our family spilled marked the beginning of the most violent century the world has ever known. Mama, why did they hate us so much? And why did they hate our friend, Father Grigory Rasputin? He was my savior, my Merlin, my wizard. Father Grigory was magic. Grigory, what do you see? I see a flower. <laughs> Grigory, what do you see? Love. Holy Mother. She is lost. There's my crown. <coughs> Come closer. If he doesn't, he doesn't see know. Me. <laughs> he has no magic. Yegorov's horse. What? What's this? What are you raising, a child or a devil? Gory, come here. Apologize. Why? Ah! <laughs> Forgive me, but let him deny it, Father. Let him deny it. Yes. Let him deny it. Let him deny it. It's not true. Let him deny it. I bought that horse. It's my horse. Now do my heart. They say you are a wizard. They say you're an imbecile. Tell me, what do I have behind my back? A coin, a book, a leaf, a pipe, a rock, the archbishop's balls. I told you, it's all dried up. Yeah! Gather another load by nightfall, or lose your pay.
Father Grigori said the Holy Mother asked him to help me. No matter what people said about him later, I know better. Because he came to St. Petersburg and he saved my life. She became the mother of God himself. She carried him in her arms. She nourished him with her milk. Who can describe the greatness of the Virgin Mother of God? Amen. Amen. I saw her. I saw her. The sky was empty. Then silver, then gold. Her eyes were purple and her skin was ivory. And she reached out her hand and blessed me. Who are you? Grigory Rasputin from Pakrovsk. Why are you here? The mother of God, she told me to come here. Many come here claiming to have seen the Virgin. She touched me. Oh. Here. Some said the bishop was hypnotized. Some said he had seen the truth. All of St. Petersburg was talking about this day. Bless me. The Virgin has touched him. There was little hope for me. Me, Alexei, sovereign heir, Zarevich to the Russian throne. God help me. He will. He will. How much Mama prayed that God would forgive her, for it was she who carried my disease in her blood. Your Majesty, the monk from Siberia is here. Mama. Don't be frightened. Christ is with you. Don't weep anymore. Everything passes. Why is your heart so heavy? Do you have faith? There's no reason to suffer. The Lord bless his faithful servant, Alexandra Fyodorovna. This is Father Grigori from Siberia. Papa. He's come to bless Alexei. The Tsarevich is sleeping. My blessings are powerful.
No, just come out. He's sleeping, Father. This is Father Grigori. He has come to bless. Father, quickly. How is your leg? It hurts. Oh, now, uh, th that's enough. Derevienko, lead him out. No more opiates for this boy. Take him. Don't feed. <laughs> Do you like to sail? He brings comfort. And the waves, they talk. And the sun shines on the water as it gently rises. You can see the face of God. If you look at the sun, your soul forgets everything as you wake from the dream of life's worries. For the joy lifts your heart, and your soul sees the wisdom of life and beauty indescribable. Is the pain gone? Yes. Then I go to sleep. Sleep. I'm telling you. Something to drink. The Madeira, if you have it. Who told you about the Sarevich's leg? The Mother of God. Her voice blooms like a kiss in my ear and then grows till it hurts my body and tears at my ears until I want to cry enough. She told me how your boy suffered. I know his blood is diseased. I don't know why I was chosen. I'm just a poor, stupid man. Pray to her, Mama, Papa. God is good. The Prime Minister. The German ambassador's here. Peter. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. This is Father Grigori. Prime Minister Stolyev. And thank you so much for coming, Father. Shall we see you downstairs? Man's junk is a boiled owl. Alexei's leg. Gossip, hearsay. You saw him limp from the bed. He took his pain. What is it, Nikki? There has been another bombing. 
Stolypin thinks it's the electrical workers. Anyway, they want another meeting. It's a plot to undermine you, to make you look weak and start more trouble. See you smile. Do you remember the little cottage we stayed in when we visited your family in Germany? And the picnics we used to have, and the songs we sang under the chestnut tree. What in the world made you think of that? And how those fishermen splashed us with their oars. They didn't know who we were. <laughs> <laughs> they were so clever. <laughs> and how we never ever wanted to. You are locked in my arms. The key has been lost. And now you must stay there forever. Up the lust of my flesh has tormented me, Lord Jesus Christ, do not condemn me therefore. <laughs> do you know it? <laughs> to slow the flow of blood in some hemophiliacs. I started using it last week. But um, Alexei was cured last night, Doctor, not last week. <laughs> well, these things often take time, sir. Who are you, really? The infinite. <laughs> <laughs> your infancy goes to the palace. Ask the Tsarina if I might borrow her crown. I will see her today. Hmm? <laughs> Grigory Rasputin. Her Imperial Majesty, the Empress Alexandra Fyodorovna wishes to see me. Yes. <laughs> Now, call me a liar. Father. I spent 
days on my knees. Yet you have healed my son in minutes. Do you have faith, Mama? I pray, I fast. In your heart, do you have it? I try. Answer the question. I don't know. Then get on your knees and beg, beg, like a peasant with your knees in the dirt. How dare you? Like a beggar, or a snake, or a thief. You are the reason the little one suffers. Oh, no. You doubt the divinity of God. Your prayers mock his name. Every time the boy screams, it is your knife in his body. No. Mama, God cursed your son. Only he can cure him. Do doctors listen to God? Answer. No, the disease will leave him. The Holy Mother promised, but only if you believe in her mercy. Cherish her name, don't you see? God has sent me. The, the child isn't helpless, but he can do nothing in his weakness. He doesn't need medicine. He needs a pony, a sled. We may pray to God on our knees, but we also pray in joy, in laughter, and in love. Father. I have premonitions. Of what? Terrible things. Tell me. My husband does not want to rule. with his magic. I could play with my sisters and teach you in the park again. For the first time, Mama could believe in me as the next Tsar of Russia. I had all that I wanted. What did others have? No food, no coal. Some wrapped papers on their feet instead of shoes. Papa said this is how God had willed it. I know that some called Papa Nicholas the Bloody, but those were his enemies. Who is that? I wanted to say good night. Kevin, delivery. So, how are we? Good. Are you going to be working all night again? Probably. Why do you work so hard? Because I love Russia and I love her people. But you don't love the revolutionaries. Olga said so. No. They killed Granddaddy, Alexei. And Uncle Sergei. Why don't you give them what they want? Because they want the throne. And God gave that to me, and only God can take it away. Father Grigori could protect it for us. Oh, I'll protect it for you, Alexei. As my father protected it for me. I promise. happy on the day when they could show me to everyone. We didn't tell them who we had to thank for this miracle.
or me? What do you know about love? Oh, that's in love. I'm not. I saw you flirting. So do you. Who is he? You can't tell me. I'm a man of God. Well, he's a marine guard on the standard. What do we know about this Rasputin? He has a fondness for strong Madeira, cheap steak, and gypsy prostitutes. We don't know if he talks to God or to the devil. After 12 years of torture, I have peace. And what if you were to talk to the press about Alexei's condition? that the next Tsar of the Russias could bleed to death by pricking his finger on a rose bush. Handing the revolutionaries more ammunition. Nikki, help me. I love you. Father, what do you offer? A morsel of bread is more precious to men than a mountain of diamonds and gold. Amen. 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 Tatiana, pass the bread. Yes, ma'am. Perhaps our next Tsar will be called Alexei the Terrible. <laughs> you know, children, when Father Vigori made his pilgrimage to St. Petersburg, he traveled 1,000 miles all on foot. Yes, I walked and walked and walked all day, sometimes three days without food. I worked with the laborers and I prayed by the river, and I never once touched my flesh. But I was young then, and I have since learned that although the soul may belong to God, the flesh belongs to us. Have you been to Mount Athos in Greece? Yeah. It's a simple place, no gold or silver, but pretty nonetheless. When I arrived, I went for a walk through the woods, and suddenly I heard breathing through the bushes. I saw two monks, naked as nature, one behind the other. Come with me. Palace, it is our home. I insist you treat it with respect. You spit in the country. It lands in the dirt here. It lands on somebody's head. The Empress likes you. A great deal, in fact. She has opened her heart. It is a fragile heart. It is easily broken. Without me, the little one will die. I see more blood. I have his pain. You will need me. I think that that is enough. I didn't choose to be holy, Papa. It frightens me, too. You will wait here for an escort.
day came to celebrate 300 years of Romanov rule, our great dynasty, anointed by God. One day I will be emperor and autocrat of all the Russias, Tsar of Moscow, Kiev, Vladimir, Kazan, of Poland, of Siberia, of Georgia, Grand Duke of Lithuania. But what I thought was the beginning turned out to be the beginning of the end. Grigori? Grigori Rasputin, wake up. Father Grigori is here. Remember the sun shining on the water. Remember the face of God in the way. Remember the pain as it leaves your body.
as it left your heart. Alexei, open your eyes. Alexei, open your eyes. You'll always fail, because your soul is dead. I have performed many autopsies in my time, but I've never located a soul. And how many memories or emotions have you found? of Russia is in your hands. The man is a first-class hypnotist. Were we in the same room, Doctor? Did we see the same thing? By hypnotizing the boy, he lowers his blood pressure, slowing the flow of the blood itself. What I saw was a miracle. The mind is capable of fantastic things. The man is soothing. The boy likes him. There's nothing more to it than that. Sir, uh, forgive me. I think it's about time the people knew the truth about your son's health. People are talking. The papers are making up all kinds of stories to explain this man's presence in the palace. I don't care, Doctor. He saved my son. This is his new address. 
I want you to post around the clock surveillance and record everything. And begin immediately. The story of my life. And although I am a poor man with no learning, I have already performed great services for the crown. What services? The Empress has been under a great deal of psychological pressure. So what are you saying? She's very vulnerable. Father Grigori, they say you are holy. I'm a believer. Princess Marisa Ivanovna. This is for you. Forgive you. Sit. Why are you? My husband. This... What's all this noise? You think that you love him, and I see that you do, but when night comes and you climb into bed, he leaves you alone. Yes. He has someone else who puts her black hair on his chest and listens to his heart beat in her ear. How do you know this? And I see a tall man with the face of an eagle and a jacket that is covered in ribbons and gold. He wants your heart. But he has a wife of his own. What a web we weave. What else do you know? The greatest gift in the world is love. Only through love can we enter the gates of heaven, you understand? But pride is a sin, and you are so full of pride. What is the greatest sin of pride? Chastity. Repentance is very pleasing to God, but before we can repent, we first have to sin. God has the answers. He has the key. No. A humble soul is a holy soul. Humble yourself. Kiss me. <laughs> Your joy means more to me than this. Than this. Than this. I would cut these wrists if it would give you a single moment of happiness. Holy things 
We should kiss with the soul and the heart, as well as the mouth. So let me kiss you. Ladies, I use the term loosely, have arranged a club whereby they take turns in his bed. He says it will put them closer to God. Princess Marisha Ivanovna, your own cousin. People say that Tsardina knows peace only with her head on his shoulders. This man is doing more damage to the dynasty than a hundred revolutionaries ever could. Why do you need him? If the Tsar Yelyarevich has nothing to do with it. They're all over the city. I love my country, and I love you. But this man must go. Enough is enough. Nicky, don't you see? God is testing us no. to see if we are worthy. Alex, this man is a danger to Russia. Oh. Did you look at this? I'm sorry, Alex. He is a danger to me and to you and to Alex Thane. Nicky, you do this, and you are spitting at God. Then God will forgive me. But I never will. Nothing. 
very pretty. But I prefer women. Are you saying you sleep with the Empress? I am a great man! A great big man! We'll see you now. I can't be hypnotized, so don't bother. Do you realize what you have done to my family? All my life, I've had nothing. Now I have too much, but I never hurt anyone, Puff. You have hurt me. Everything I do, I think of God. I dread to imagine what he must think of you. You are ordered to leave St. Petersburg in 24 hours. I want to stay here. There are thieves all around you, Papa. They want to rob me of your love. <laughs> the day has come for our country, Papa. We will all drown in blood. Oceans of tears, oceans of blood. Millions will die. These are not my words. Leave, or you'll be arrested. Death is behind him. There it is, you see it? It will have him within a month. This is enough. There is more than just God, Pop. I am nothing and everything, but I have seen the infinite. I walk with Pan, with Eros, with Brahma, with Vishnu, with Isis, with Anshar and Beryl. Why was I chosen? I don't know. But I am Russia. I have taken your pain. I have your pain. Minister. Sergei. I apologize, Your Majesty, but the heir to the Austrian Empire has been assassinated. A 
assassinated by a Serb in Sarajevo. The Austrians will probably invade Serbia. We cannot be indifferent to the fate of our Serbian allies. Make that clear to the Austrians. But if we threaten the Austrians, they will ask the German Kaiser to threaten us. Cousin Willie? He would never agree to go to war against Russia, against me. Now, I shall ask him to persuade the Austrians to calm down. And if he refuses? I think Your Majesty shall put our forces on a war footing immediately. I am not prepared to send hundreds of thousands of Russian soldiers to their deaths. It may not come to that. But your cousin has long dreamt of war. Now he has an excuse. behind him, just as Father Grigori had said. What Papa feared the most happened. Germany, Mama's own country, became our enemy. Oceans of tears, oceans of blood, Father Grigori said. We would all drown. How can you take control of the army? Your only training is as a cavalry officer. How can you run both the army and the government? All military and political blame will be aimed directly at you. Your Majesty, the unrest in our streets is as alarming and as dangerous now as the problems at the front. Your Majesty, you must stay in St. Petersburg. Holy Mother, I'm so afraid. Please send us Father Gregory. Papa needs him. And I need him too.
Who is he? Father Grigori has healed him. But I thought he was in Siberia. Yes. I spat at God once. Never again. I know that all have desired war of you, even the most faithful. You are the Tsar, the father of the people. Do not let the fools triumph. Do not let them throw themselves and us into the abyss. Precious darling, I arrived at headquarters on Tuesday morning. The situation is worse than imaginable. Our men are facing German machine guns with sticks in their hands. They wait for their fellow soldiers to die so that they can have a gun. As to the revolutionaries at home, I say drown them all. How I wish Stolypin was still with us. The Germans have already struck at Riga while others march towards Galicia. My generals and I cannot agree on where to commit our forces. We could go north, towards Riga, but it's already winter, and that alone should prevent the Germans from settling in. South is vulnerable, especially Galicia. Should we move north or south? Father? North. You order advance towards Riga. It was seen in the night. Message was prompted by what he saw in the night. Department. Two million Russians have already died at the front. With the help of this Siberian madman, the Tsarina runs our government into ruin. How much longer do we allow these bloodthirsty Romanovs to spit in our faces? Have I done the right thing? Send me a sign. Please. Mama, Mama, the Holy Mother won't answer my prayer. She's turned her back on me. Help me. I'm so scared. When did you last see him? Weeks. I'm 
our duty to implore our sovereign to shut her up in a monastery before she ruins him or a monarch dynasty and all of Russia. We can no longer stand by as this man of God defiles our nation. If the name of the Tsar means anything to you, if you hope to save Russia from the revolutionaries who threaten her, then Grigory Rasputin must be stopped! I'll do anything to stop him for my country. I saw her. She gave me my power. How else could I have known about the boy? Did you see the vision? I swear. In your mind or before your eyes? In your mind or before your eyes? It's the same. Don't you know the difference? I saw her, that's all that counts. Say where you saw her. Say it! I'm not mad. Where did you see her? It's the same! Answer! Here. <gasps> Look what I've done for you. Oh, look, indeed. I saw her. She came to me. I have magic from the devil. Mama, look up to me, please. I'm sorry to bother you at this hour. This is Prince Felix Yusupov. My wife, Irina, is very ill. She asks if you will come and see her. No. Please, Father, I beg you. I can't. Well, you won't say no to the niece of the Tsar. I will come in three days. But she leaves for Crimea in the morning. I'll send a motor. And then do it. How many does he have to eat? 
One of these cakes will kill him instantly. I'm so glad you could come. This is my parents' domain. My rooms are in the basement. Irina is entertaining some friends. They will soon leave. I thought she was dying. She is. Of a headache. Some from our very own vineyard. To Russia. To Russia. What are you gaping at? So where is she? I'll be right back. Gypsies will go there with God in mind and mankind in the flesh. I can test the barrel. I'm going. But Arena is coming. Coming, she's coming. Maybe she flew by and I missed her. But she leaves in the morning. She'll be gone for six months. Then get me some more Madeira. It's uh, upstairs. Die, die. We're all going to die. Maybe he is holy. It's impossible. He drank it all. And he's dancing. Let him go, then. He can't leave this horse alive!
this cabinet is beautiful. Can I take it? Get the bag. Are you insane? Get some air! I leave this behind because I will soon die. Know that if I am killed by my brother peasants, then you have nothing to fear. But if I am murdered by nobles, if your relatives cause my death, then no one, not you or your children, will remain alive for more than two years. You will all be killed by the Russian people. Your friend, Grigori. Yes? Excuse me, Your Majesty. But they just found the body. Who did it? They're holding Vladimir Porishkevich, Vice President of the Duma, as well as Prince Felix Yusupov. I'm so sorry. Your own family.
From that day on, Mama never smiled again. We buried Father Grigori in a secret place near the palace. His murderers were exiled. Mama said they were not punished hard enough for what they had done to us. They took away the only friend we had. What is given by God cannot be taken by man. Why was God looking away when Papa had to give up the throne? Pick them up.
Die. They killed Aunt Ella, Uncle Sergei, Igor, Konstantin, Oleg, all our relatives who could not escape. in a house in Siberia. Today it is 18 months since Father Grigori died. love me more than anyone. I'll always love you more than anyone. Sometimes you don't know where to look for answers. Sometimes you don't know what to believe. The chestnut tree, the fisherman. Was there always? And how I never ever wanted to leave. going to take your picture. Why? There are rumors in Moscow which say that you are all dead. Over there. Can we at least have some chairs? Chairs.
for crimes against Russia. The Euro-Soviet has hereby sentenced you to death. Your life is finished. What? Sometimes we have to believe in something. Sometimes we have to believe in magic. Is the pain gone? 